Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are here with a full face video. I know it's been a while. I told you I would be doing them and I did one and didn't do it again. Um, I just am so used to doing the eye looks and that's what I did for years. So it's kind of a big adjustment to do the full face ones even though I do them on TikTok all the time. I don't know. Either way, I'm doing this look for you guys. I did it a couple weeks ago on my TikTok and I absolutely loved it. I love the inner corner. Um, I just honestly love the whole thing from start to finish. So if you guys want to see how to get this from start to finish and just keep on watching. I'm starting out with my Fenty Beauty Eye Primer as usual and I have nothing on my face right now other than my brows being filled in but I'm just going to go in with that primer and apply it to the eyelids. This is one of my favorites if you like a clear primer that is good for dry eyelids or oily eyelids. And I'm going in with my finger just to smooth that out. Next, I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Eye Primer in the shade 1. The only reason I'm doing two primers is because I'm going to be using some bright shadows and I want to have a really nice bright base to work with. And this primer is really nice. I just find that it does need a clear primer underneath of it just to help with the longevity. For the eyeshadows, I'm gonna be going in with my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And I'm gonna start out with the shade Oh Hello. So I'm gonna start by patting that color all over the lid. You just wanna make sure to smooth out any creases before you do this step. And this brush is by Zoeva. It is a 234. I don't know if they still make it though. This is really old. But I'm just packing that all the way from inner corner to outer corner, and I'm really making sure to get kind of in that socket right there. And I'm really making sure to get at that lash line as well. Now with that same shade in a different brush, this is a MAC 221. I'm going to start bringing that up into the crease area. I have a mirror like down here and I have a mirror directly ahead so I can look straight ahead and see where this color is sitting. I want it to go a little bit above my natural crease. I don't like that. To blend this out, I'm going to take the shade Tipsy Girl. And this brush is a JH36. Again, this is an old like discontinued brush. I'm going to go with that color, which you can see is a much brighter pink. I'm going to press it into the crease just to kind of lay down that color. And then we'll start to blend it out. You can see how it's kind of blending on its own. I'm going in with a little bit more and just pressing. And now I'm going to start buffing it in. Next, I'm going in with that shade Oh Hello again, which was the lid shade. I'm going to redefine that crease area. So I want it to be nice and dark right there. So the same thing, I'm just looking straight ahead so I can see where this is sitting in my crease. Next, we're going to add some purple and take the shade Not My Journey. And for this, I'm taking a Sigma E45, I believe. I'm just going to stamp that on the outer corner and just kind of pat inwards because I don't want to fling this purple all over the pink shades. And then once I have that product kind of laid down, I'm just going to use the tip of the brush to start to blend it out. But I really want to keep that purple concentrated on the outer corner. I'm just going in with a little bit more and I'm just going to keep building this up until it's as blended and as pigmented as I would like. Okay, now that we are to this point right here, I'm going to do mascara and lashes. And these are the lashes I'm going to be using. I get questions about them all the time when I wear them on like TikTok and stuff. These are by the brand Valicia on Amazon. These are the style DT05. I will have them linked in my description bar, but um, you get all of these lashes for like 10 bucks. So you really can't beat it. They don't last a really long time, but they are stunning. Okay, so we're going to jump into complexion. So here's what those lashes look like. They are still drying, but they're just, they're so pretty. And I mean, again, for the price, you really can't beat it. First, I'm going to start off with my MAC Hyper Real Serumizer. I'm just taking a couple pumps of that and I'm just going to work it into the skin. This will give me a nice glow and some extra hydration to my skin. And I did get my hair color touched up yesterday, so ignore the kind of black spots. I'm going to take that even further and go in with the MAC Studio Radiance Primer. This will just give me a little bit more glow, but it will also help with the longevity of everything. If you're in the market for a good hydrating primer, this one is amazing. Now I'm going in with my Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. So I like to apply this with a stippling brush, so I'm just kind of dispersing it. And I'm going to work it into the skin. It's honestly just one of the prettiest foundations. When I first used it, I liked it, but I wasn't like wowed by it. But the more that I've used it and learning to use it with a stippling brush instead of like I typically apply foundation. Um, it's just the best. And this brush is a Sigma F50 in case you're wondering. I use it all the time. I keep one for powders and I keep one for cream products. Next for concealer, this is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. And I'm just applying that on the middle part and then kind of right here. And to blend that in, this is a Morphe E8 brush. Again, really old. So I don't know if they make any of these brushes anymore, but my brushes last forever. So I really don't ever buy new brushes. Like I've had the same Sigma brushes for like six years now, if not longer. But I like to do just pressing motions kind of just right under that eye and then I'll go down to blend it, but it doesn't really bring the concealer down. It's just to blend that line between the concealer and the foundation. Same thing on this side. I'm just doing that patting motions. 
For cream bronzer, I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury one in the shade medium. And I'm just going to press that on the top of the cheeks, hitting this temple area right here. And I'm also going to run that along the forehead. And sometimes I will go across the nose. It just depends on if I'm wanting a more bronzy look or not. But I do today just because with these type of colors, sometimes they can tend to wash you out a little bit. So whenever I'm doing my cream bronzer, blush, highlights, contour, anything like that, I'm doing pressing motions because if you start to swipe, then you're going to kind of disturb the foundation that's underneath of it and we don't want that so since i'm wanting a little bit more of a full coverage look i'm going to contour as well this is the fenty beauty match stick in the shade truffle and this brush right here this is the morphe v102 this one i know they do make because this one is a fairly newer brush i'm going to run that contour so you can see it kind of comes to like a point right there i'm running the contour along that point and then i'm just going to go in and press in the hollows of my cheeks and then where it's flat i'm going to almost like push up to blend upwards. But I mean, it, it literally just like does the work for you. It's actually really impressive. Um, It's not the cheapest brush. I mean, I feel like Morphe brushes have gotten really expensive, but it's really nice. I bought it for foundation and absolutely hated it. And I just recently tried it doing this method and I love it. I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of the nose. Okay, I just realized I wasn't recording, but I'm going in with my favorite blush of all time. This is the MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade So Natural. I take that back. I still say Warm Soul is my favorite, but this is my second favorite. And I'm going in with a MAC 168. I believe and I'm just pressing this on the cheeks. This is honestly the blush that I use when I don't want a lot of blush or I don't really know which one to do. It just is so perfect. It goes with everything. There's no shimmer or if there is like you can't see it. But you can see I'm doing those pressing motions again. I'm kind of working it up into the temple. I think I'm going to skip out on highlighter today. Now I'm going in with my new favorite powder. This is the MAC Studio Fix Pro Set and Blur in the shade Translucent. When I tell you that this is one of the most blurring powders I've ever used and you have to use such a small amount of it. You don't have to bake with it. It just looks so good and blurs all perfections. It comes with this little like powder puff. I'm just going to press that into the center of the face. And I just like to take what's left over and put it on my nose. I don't want a lot there. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but I do have a video on my TikTok of this and I'm telling you it just completely blurs. And I have really dry skin, like I said. So it like I'm pretty particular with what type of powders I use because a lot of them make me look very dry. Okay, now we're going to finish off the eyes. So I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in the shade perversion which is just a black i'm going to run that through my waterline i wanted to keep the entire look pretty smoky and then have that pop on the inner corner but you could also do a pop of color in the waterline honestly it's just kind of preference okay now i'm taking that shade oh hello that we used all over the lid and i'm using that same shading brush but i'm just using the tip of the brush i'm going to run that from inner corner to outer corner I like to just look up for this, but you can obviously use a mirror if you're not comfortable doing your lower lash line. And we're going to do a pretty heavily smoky lower lash line. I think I will just forever love a really smoky lower lash line. I know it's not for everyone, but I feel like if I'm going to do eyeshadow, it just honestly like ties everything together. Now with that MAC 221 brush in the shade Tipsy Girl, which was that brighter pink, I'm doing the same thing we did on top. I'm going to press it and then I'm going to start buffing it out. This will just keep this right where I want it and it'll blend a lot easier as well. Once I get the mascara on the lower lash line, it really kind of tones down the lower lash line i always like to take it a little bit past where my lower lashes stop so if you have kind of shorter lower lashes you might want to make it a little bit like higher up to the eye instead of bringing it down as much as i do but it honestly just kind of all works in the end okay this i need a mirror for i'm going to take that purple shade the not my journey and that same shader brush that i wiped off and i'm just kind of packing that purple on the outer corner and i'm not going to blend this out i'm just going to pack it on there and leave it now i'm just applying my favorite lower lashes mascara which is the mac extended play giga black lash I've used this for so many years, I can't even remember how long. All right, so now the fun part of the look, I'm going to take the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Fresh, which is a really pretty mint green, and I'm going to draw that on the inner corner. I'm just kind of wrapping it around that inner corner, and I'm making this kind of thick because I'm going to do the white to make it look like it's glowing like I've showed you guys before. If you're not going to do the white, I would just keep this kind of tight to the inner corner. And I'm just grabbing a blue that's pretty similar to that. Um, you can use whatever. This is the shade Rick from the um, Morphe and Abby Roberts palette. And now with a MAC 228 brush, I'm just going to stamp that right where I put that eyeliner. This is just going to make it extra vibrant. So I wiped off my brush. I'm going to kind of fade it up into the eyeshadow right there. So you can see the difference between it being set and not set. Now for the glowing part of this, I'm going to take a really pigmented white. This is also from the Abby Roberts palette. I'm using that same brush and I'm going to stamp that right along my inner corner. 
and we're not going to blend this out. We want this to be pretty harsh. You can see it kind of just makes it glow a little bit, but I'm going to do that like two more times. Okay, now we're going to do a lip. So I just removed my lip balm and I'm just kind of going in with my leftover foundation just to kind of give them an even base to work with. Okay, so I just lined and filled in my lips with the Honest Lazy Lip Liner in the shade Muted Mauve. And I think I'm going to apply the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Balm Cream. It's just a really pretty neutral shade. I think it'll be pretty with this look. Okay, so I thought I was done, but I need to add some brow gel because I never did that. This is the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. And here is that entire look completed. I just absolutely love the pop of blue on the inner corner. This is just such a fun look. And honestly, it's really not that hard. Um, once you kind of get the techniques down, you can do this with really any color. But yeah, that is it for this look. I hope you guys liked the full face tutorial and let me know what you want to see next. But I will see you in my next video.